with another video. Now, we will, we will be breaking down Eagle Mountain Lake. I have a Lone Star Junior Bassmaster next weekend, Saturday. Now, we will be it will be snowing Thursday, ice Friday, very, very, very cold on Saturday, like 13 at 8 a.m. Now, Eagle Mountain Lake is just north of Fort Worth. It has smallmouth, spotted bass, largemouth, a lot of white bass, but we're not targeting them. Um, a lot of rocks, some reeds, a lot of docks, and that's what we're going to be targeting this video. Now, we fished baits like a chatterbait. Up, we weren't fishing docks, we are fishing around these docks through the middle. First bait we were throwing was a chatterbait. Now, chatterbait, good bait, good all around bait, but they just weren't on it. They're looking for a nice reaction slate and they're like, colors with like a lot of red and a lot of black in them it's that time of year where it's very very cold and a lot of these fish are confused because we're constantly getting warm like today it's 72 tomorrow it's going to be like 50 next day it's going to be like 30 next day it's going to be like 12 degrees and it's going to get back up to 70 these fish are extremely confused they're very still like every fish we caught yesterday was white they were they were white and they were given that really aggressive bite but they weren't they weren't fighting. Like, it'd feel like just a rag on the end of your line. We threw soft plastics. Like, like a baby brush hog. Now, if you don't know what a baby brush hog is, it's a creature style bait. And I'll show you in a second. Basically, baby brush hog it's a creature tile bait which we this bait will catch them 24 7 anywhere you go this is my normal bait this is i've caught a six a five a seven on this this bait is insanely good now honestly how rocky it is i'd rather throw a net rig which that's what we're going to do next week we're going to throw a net rig come off those rocks like we were fishing now i'll show you what we were catching them on Anyone take a guess? Down below, take a guess. We were catching them on a rattle trap. Now, this is an Eidos 6.6 rod with a Daiwa reel. Now, it's a half ounce rattle trap, and we threw chrome blue at them, threw basically every color, but the half ounce rattle trap, and with like a red and a yellow, maybe a little bit of black, will catch them. Now, we could go to a quarter ounce, but they were really focusing on that half ounce. Now, I was running the trolling motor because make it get ready for high school. High school's next year. And I was running that trolling motor, and I was looking at my screens about, we were sitting about 10 feet of water, but where we were casting was about 6 feet of water. And those rock walls in between these docks, you could feel that rattle trap deflecting off those rocks. Now, these fish, when you would catch them, it'd be like a hard tug tug. And it feels so light when you were reeling them in. It didn't even feel like I had a fish. And this was perfect. It was bouncing off those rocks, bouncing, 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 bouncing. And once in a while, I'd get a hit. These fish were so still. You would cast in there and miss them. Next time you cast in there, you'd catch them. These fish were so, so, so cold. They didn't know what was going on. These the water temps were about 50 or 46. When we went closer to the dam, um, they were around 49 and a half. They're a little bit warmer, but we caught most of our fish down towards the West Bay Marina and around docks and stuff. But this was our bait. We didn't catch them on anything else. We threw jigs at them, black and blue jigs. We threw crankbaits, Fritz Savage, the best, in my opinion, the best cold water crankbait there is. Now, 
this lake is pretty hard to break out. Any lake in Texas, when those water temps get below 55, it is really, really, really hard to break down. Now, um, probably the tournament is going to be canceled on Saturday. So that means there won't be a video. Well, there will be a video on Sunday, but it won't be a fishing video on Sunday. Now, my plan is to have a video out every Sunday, or maybe if, if it's a fishing video, like if I'm on the boat fishing every other Sunday. Now, in March, we're going down to Rayburn for a week, and I don't know if what I should do, if I should make just one big video and post it like three weeks later for like 25 minutes long, or like, like three 10 minute videos. I don't know what I should do. Comment down below what I should do. But my goal, my own account got deleted. It was Blake Four Kid, and I had about 50 subs. Had two really good videos out of me fishing. Had like 750 views, 12, 13 likes. It was on Lake Fork. And that's another lake I'll be fishing, Lake Fork. Now my lakes that I'll be fishing, Lake Fork, Lake Weatherford, Marine Creek, Lake Sam Rayburn, Eagle Mountain, Louisville, Granberry, Grapevine. That's probably about it. Now, these Junior Bassmasters, they're all over North Texas, so I know where they are, but I forgot. Now, the meeting is tomorrow at Cabela's. Um, they will explain if there will be a tournament. I don't, personally, I don't think the weather forecast is predicting, like, highs of 30 and lows of, like, 11. Like, I don't see how they could go out there. In my age group, there's about 14 kids. Um, expecting about... Three, what my goal is three keepers, six pounds. I think six pounds will probably get it done. It's gonna be tough for everybody. Um, so that's one thing you gotta keep in mind when you're fishing, especially when you're a kid. It's tough for everybody, so don't give up. If it's tough for you, it's most likely tough for almost everyone unless someone's on them. Now, it's, it's gonna be tough, but that's basically the breakdown of what we've been catching on. We threw spinner baits, we threw spinner rods under the dogs. Like I was running a trolling motor all yesterday. I was positioning the boat where I could get a good cast on the docks with this little six inch zoom worm. Um, we threw pretty much almost every winter bait. We threw little swim baits, jerk baits, A rigs. A rigs is gonna be another bait. A rigs is gonna be another bait. A rigs is gonna be another bait. But basically that, that was the breakdown of the Eagle Mountain Lake. So thank you guys for watching. This helped y'all. Comment down below, but basically, this, I will be trying to post a video every Sunday or every other Sunday, it just depends, and thank y'all, bye.